One of my favorite activities as a coach is the how takeover and how this works is I usually just hear a teacher. Um, usually I just try to be present and just maybe hear them kind of talking about um, my class is kind of driving me crazy or this is an issue we're having, but listening for those problems or those gripes that teachers are having. And then what I do is I just offer to come in and kind of model for them an instructional strategy that might be really high engaging. So maybe it's a game uh, based idea. Maybe it's a new tech tool. Maybe it is um, an edu protocol. So again, just something quick that the teachers can quickly see. And sometimes I'm not in their lesson the whole time. Sometimes I am. Sometimes it's a quick 10, 15 minutes takeover where I just come in the class and I said, okay, okay, I'm taking over today. Um, sometimes it's planned, but usually the teacher does know I'm going to do this. Um, so first thing is, um, it's where I come in and I will deliver the lesson. So I will come in and I'm going to deliver the lesson. I typically meet with the teacher. So that's step number two is we set up a planning meeting. Mostly that planning meeting is pretty quick. It's like 15 minutes. It's just, what are you teaching? And then I leave and I use like the rest of that time. So if I'm meeting usually with a teacher for an hour or 45 minutes, I leave them and I start to plan that lesson out. Um, so I think about what instructional strategy would be really good for whatever we're teaching. And then I tell them this is the date I'm coming in or sometimes I don't. It depends on the teacher there. But typically I will tell them when I'm coming in. Um, so again, I just meet with them and I, it's mostly just to know what are they teaching. And then from there, I will go and create that lesson. Um, again, typically it's a 10, 15 minute takeover. It's usually nothing crazy. And so why do I do this? Um, it can help the teachers. It brings excitement to them. Um, they're able to see different instructional strategies. So again, it's, it's real quick, that takeover. And it's fun. It's um, spontaneous. The kids don't know I'm coming and they're just like, oh my gosh, my teacher's letting this crazy lady take over her classroom. And um, the kids love it. The teachers love it. It's usually like a quick engagement strategy. Again, it just kind of switches things up. And what we do after that is I follow up. So I try to meet with that teacher and I just ask them, hey, how did you think that lesson takeover went? What did you think of that strategy? Um, so for example, one time I went in, a teacher was talking about how she's never used um, GimKit. And so what I said is, okay, I'm going to just come in sometime today. I didn't tell her the exact time or when I just said, I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to say how take over. And that is what we're going to do is I'm going to come in and do gym kit with your class. Again, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm just going to come in when you have those class periods for 10 minutes. And so what I did is I came in her class for those 10 minutes and I did the gym kit activity with her kids. She got to see how I set it up. She got to see how our kids responded. I got to kind of teach her students how to use it. So when she does it next time, she just has to worry about um, clicking play and all those different pieces. And then what we did after that is I just came in right after at the end of the school day or during her planning time. And I just reflected with her. I just said, OK, what did you think about that lesson takeover? What did you think about that strategy or that that tool that I use with your class? And then how can we use this strategy for something similar next time? And so then because the teacher got to see that modeled, then she was able to then kind of plan for how she wanted to use that. Um, lesson takeovers, again, are super fun. They can be the whole lesson. Or again, I just like to go in for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just kind of take over their class. It allows some fun. It allows some flexibility. But again, I usually plan with them real just quickly. What are you teaching? Because I want to make sure my instructional strategy aligns with their content. And then that follow-up piece is really huge. Um, and I just go in again. Sometimes I plan it with the teacher like, hey, I'm going to come in later just to kind of talk with you. Other times I just come in and I just ask them, hey, can I get some feedback on what you thought about that? Um, because I want to do it with other people. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you, your students think? Um, and then do you need help or that can kind of even lead to a coaching cycle like, hey, I, I want to do it, but next time I want to co-teach with you or, hey, I want to try it. And um, do you mind if I create the questions? And I'm going to send it to you for feedback. Whatever that next step is um, really allows that. But again, that follow up piece is huge. And also being present to know what is the teacher struggling with? When are they maybe hitting that burnout or that I'm exhausted stage? And you